everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Cello here, and today's video I'm going to be taking you through an absolute brutal lower body workout, and all you need is a set of dumbbells. Now I know some of you are still in lockdown, so therefore you don't have access to the gym. Although I'm at the gym today, downstairs is so busy I could not record for you. So I just sat back and I thought to Sasha, what is option B? I know right now that resources are limited and also a lot of us don't have much equipment at home. However, a lot of us do have access to dumbbells, so I hope this lower body workout truly helps you along your fitness journey. And also you enjoy it, it's about enjoying it. If you don't have any equipment at home and want to see a no equipment lower body workout, please comment down below because that is where I can read your requests and also produce the content that you wanna see and that will help you along your fitness journey. I'm excited for this video. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna absolutely love it and you're gonna feel it during, after, and a few days after this workout. So without further ado, let's get into this workout right now. With any workout, mobility and warming up is absolute key. So I'm gonna introduce you some dynamic warm-ups that you can do. The first thing that I want you to do is just your static body weight squat. Hands on your shoulders, chest upright, keep your chin nice and tucked in. Look forward. Your legs, you want them a little bit further than the shoulder width apart and find that comfortable position. Please don't think they have to be straight ahead. If that does not feel comfortable for your ankle mobility, do not do that. Have them a little bit separate and find that sweet spot. We're gonna do 12 body weight squats and then we're gonna move side to side lateral squats, 20 reps. Let's go. Once you've completed those two exercises, we're gonna do some leg swings. Now I'm gonna hold onto a wall and you're basically, so and I'm gonna turn my back, you're gonna swing your leg outward and bring it back over. This is gonna be so good for your hips. When it comes to lower body, I need you to focus also on your hip mobility. So we're gonna do some more mobility work to really make sure that area is nice and warmed up. That ball and socket needs to be warmed up. So let's do some leg swings. The next movement that we're gonna do is a deep yogi squat. So you're gonna go as deep as possible, grab your hands and put them by your ankles. Your elbows are gonna push your knees out as such and you're really gonna work on loosening your hip area. You can do some slight circles around, moving around, stretching that area out and breathing into it. If this feels uncomfortable, you don't, gotta, you don't have to go all the way low, come it up a bit high, whatever feels comfortable for you. From here, what you're also gonna do, now this movement is really difficult. So some people can do it, some people can't do it. But if you can try to, I recommend do so. So you're gonna get in a squat position, just like so. And you're gonna bring one elbow in, verted just like so, and bring it back out. You're gonna really work your ball and socket and hip joint. Bring it in, just like so. If your mobility isn't the best, Another thing I recommend is some abductions, just like so, and also some circles, hip circles. Yes, I know this may look a little bit weird, and you're probably thinking I'm in like a 70s or 80s workout video. Like But trust me when I say it's necessary for your lower back and your hips. So I'm just gonna do some of the deep yogi squats and inserts like so. And then you have to find what works best for you. Obviously I'm not with you so I can't see your mobility but just try something out. I 
I'm just gonna end with some abductions and rotations just like so. 10 on each leg and we're ready to crack on. Do you notice how my warm-ups, you know, I'm not me messing around with these warm-ups and dynamic stretches. I need you to be warmed up so well before you're getting into this workout. <sighs> The first exercise is gonna be a half and a full sumo squat. Um, now, what I want you to remember is I'm using a heavy dumbbell, but use what you have. It doesn't matter the weights I use, it matters the weight you use, so always remember that. So I'm gonna externally rotate my feet outward and also have a nice wide stance. You want your core nice and tight, you want your chest upright, nice and proud. Always remember, nice and proud. Your chin needs to be tucked into your chest as well. I'm gonna grab the dumbbell and lower myself just like so with both hands. Now what I mean by a half and a full rep is you're gonna do, let's start at the top, you're gonna go half, and then you're gonna come all the way back up. Did you see that? You're gonna go half, down, and ooh, the way back up. Ooh. Ooh. Just like so. Give me 20 reps. Exercise, we're gonna do a single leg movement and this is gonna be a curtsy lunge pulse. Now you're not coming up, so a curtsy lunge is when you bring one foot around the other, not back, right? That's a reverse lunge. So let me teach you the difference in case you don't know. Sorry if you do know, just skip this part, but I really just wanna help as many people as possible. A reverse lunge is you're putting your foot backwards. Think about a car, you're reversing back. R for reverse back, right? A forward lunge is you're bringing your leg forward. So you're bringing it forward. That means this leg is bending forward as well. Can you see that? Forward. Reverse lunge, just like so. Now when it comes to a curtsy lunge, is I always think about it this way. If I was to meet the queen, how would you curtsy? So you would curtsy. Similar, you're really gonna work your glutes with this one. You wanna have your dumbbells right by your side and you're gonna essentially create a semicircle with your leg. Do you see that? It's like a semicircle, just like so. So when you're bringing your leg back, you're gonna come down. Tip number one. Your knee needs to be in alignment with your toes. That is the biggest thing you always need to remember. Whether you're doing a reverse, whether you're doing a forward, whether you're doing a curtsy. It doesn't matter if your knee is a bit over your toe. It matters if your knee is in alignment with your toe. So that means you don't want it caving in. If I'm doing a curtsy lunge and this is what's happening, you're putting all the pressure onto your feet, you're causing so much issues with your knees and you're really gonna hurt this whole pelvic area. So this is what we wanna avoid. So keep everything in alignment, bring it over just like so. We're gonna do 20 pulse reps on each leg. That means you're not coming up, you're simply gonna pulse just like so. It's gonna really burn your leg. All right, let's get into this. I hope that tip helped. know what that constant tension 
is enough to get your heart rate up, your legs on fire, and for you to just feel that saucy, saucy, saucy burn you're looking for. That really disgusting burn that makes you want to stop, but you've got to keep on going. I'm, I need a break. The third exercise is gonna be a weighted lateral squat. So I'm gonna grab a dumbbell just like so, and I'm actually gonna place it on one shoulder at a time. So if this feels uncomfortable, just hold it down, but this feels all right for me. There we go, that feels good. Now what you're gonna do is the weight that you have your dumbbell on, you're gonna come over just like so, and then you're gonna bring your knee up. If you can't do that, just touch the floor, but try and bring it up as well, because you're gonna be working your core much more for that st stability and balance. So watch one more time, you're gonna come down, just like so. Elongate this leg, come up. Power, yeah? Now come down, power, just like so. We're doing 12 reps on each leg. This is gonna be brutal, it's gonna work your core. You're getting a good sum for your money here, you know? Get him out. All right, let's go. Okay, this is 25 kg front squat. So, you wanna bring your core tight. This is heavy, guys, that's why I'm breathing heavy. It's heavy for me. You wanna come down and back up just like so, just like you would with a barbell. We're doing 12 reps, let's go. Now, woo! When you're doing a front squat, a lot of the time, people, let's say you're not using dumbbell, you're using a barbell, will pull their wrists back and will cause like a lot of injury. Now, obviously I don't recommend doing anything that's discom like causing you discomfort. I actually do it like this. It actually is not that bad for me, but when it gets too much, I do put like wrist straps on. My wrists are so tiny. Like, they're like, Sasha, put your hand around my wrist. See how tiny? My wrists are pretty small, so they can be a little bit flimsy, so that's why when I put some um, wrist straps on, it really helps with that support. When I'm doing dumbbells, it's not so bad because it's smaller, so it's adding a bit more, less pressure. But if this feels uncomfortable, then you can also do a goblet squat. That means where you're positioning the dumbbell upright like so, and you're squatting down, as opposed to having it flipped up just like so. So just focus on what feels comfortable and please never do something just because I'm recommending it or I'm doing it just because I'm doing something that works good for me doesn't necessarily mean it will always work for you. And that's the beauty about fitness and that's why you know one of the visions when I created the Tone and Sculpt app was to allow women from all abilities and accessibilities to view fitness as something that didn't require a lot and also to view fitness as longevity. So if you're just doing something because everybody else is doing it, it will never just, it will never work. You have to do something you truly love doing and you're passionate about. And you know, that's what fitness is to me. I'm doing it for me at the end of the day. I'm not doing it for anybody else. Uh, and I'm just recording it to help you if I can in some way or another. So yeah, just always remember that and don't feel disheartened by any, any type of way. It's all about you and your progress. Anyway, so I'm gonna do one more exercise and this completes the workout. The entire workout will be in the description box, so if you wanna screenshot that, or also give this uh, video a thumbs up, which will really, really help my channel, and it will let me know that you enjoyed it and you wanna see more. So pause the video, give it a thumbs up, and also hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hey. All right, one more exercise and we're done, let's go. All right, the last exercise is gonna leave your glutes on absolute fire and I'm gonna be so brutal right now, you have no idea what's hitting me. We're gonna do 30. Yeah, I said it. 
Don't hate me, all right? You can hate me during, I don't care, but then you'll love me after because your glutes will be mm, delicious. Anyway, so we're gonna do 30 frog pumps. Now, the reason I'm using this, it's gonna help me really scoop my tailbone in, keep my chin nice and tucked. You're gonna have your feet come together like a frog, just like so. You're gonna pump up, come down, pump up, come down, pump up, come down, just like so. Keeping your eyes forward at all times. Now, if you don't have this, just do it flat on the floor. You're doing 30 reps, three sets. We're hitting three, six, 90 reps. I'm so bad at maths. I failed maths five times, but I was an A-star student when it comes to English. And look, sis has a law degree. Just throwing it out there. So I can be bad at maths, there's no problem. Ready? One, two, three. Managed to do 30 reps, I applaud you. If you manage to do five reps, I applaud you. I don't care. Just try and get something done. So that is it for this YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed it and I truly hope that it helped you. And give it a go, you know, just grab a set of dumbbells and give this workout a go. Like I said, the entire workout will be in the description box. So send that to a friend as well, send in this video help each other out always. I love you always and forever and beyond thankful for you always, you know this. I'll see you next time for another video.